All right. Uh, knocking on Heaven's Door, Bob Dylan, and also covered by Guns N' Roses. Okay, it's a nice, easy song. Um, so that intro is just a G, open G, all strings open. Seventh fret for a D. Fifth fret for a C. For two bars. And I'll play that through so you can sort of play along. So open. Seven. Now the verse is G, which we already know, D on the seventh fret, which we know, and then we're adding an A minor, which is on the second fret bar. You could play an A if you want, but it does sound better with an A minor, which is a finger on the fifth fret on that bottom string. So I'll play that through. said the chorus is the same as the intro so it's knock, 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 over and over so it is a nice and simple song there are some things we can add to it to spice it up to make it a bit more interesting um, but if that's all you're looking for that will cover you for the whole song hang around for a bit longer and I'll add a couple of little things just to make it sound more interesting okay to make it more interesting you can add just a little bit of picking in your chords so same chords So all I'm doing there is I'm just picking the, playing the chord and then coming up. So picking each each note up. Same on the D. And you can do the same thing in the verse as well. So play it a little bit different around the A minor, and you can do whatever you like as well. Like I said, it's all about having fun, having your own creativity on the three string. Um, I guess all I did there was on the A minor, hit the fourth fret, um, and then just walked it back to the second fret. To the open G, D. And on the C, on that fifth fret, just playing the five and the seventh fret. Seven, five, seven. A bit of a pull off there. Hitting the string once, putting my finger off, and then just coming back to that middle string on the seventh fret. And that just gives you something a little bit different to play in the verse. Now, if you want to get that Guns N' Roses feel, you know, the old. So you've got that um, sharp little jab up and down and then I'm just grabbing the strings just to take that ring out and then on the D I'm just releasing the pressure off the strings and then my finger meets the rest same thing on the C on the fifth fret 
And then sort of strumming just to sort of keep like a percussion or keep the time a little bit. What you can also do is add a little bit of um, the bass line at the end there as well, like. So all I'm doing there is playing between the third and the fifth fret. Just not going to be out with it. So you come from the that was all three five. I did do a little bit of a run that did include the second fret. That so five three two five on the top five. Sort of slid up from the third to the fifth. Okay, that's pretty much the whole lesson. If you got something out of it, that's great. Give it a thumbs up, let me know. If you like rock and blues uh, influence sort of things, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, until I see you next time, be good. Hooroo.